I recently had once saw you um, talk about Open DNS, and yes. I created an account and Open DNS, and um, it doesn't seem to be working for me. Um, I, I I tried it. I I did everything like. So here's the key on the Open DNS. So I love Open DNS. You want to you're you're trying to protect your kids. Sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, Open DNS. So, t to understand what Open DNS does, you have to kind of understand a little bit about how the internet works. The internet is, you know, this vast place where everything on the internet, including your computer, uh, you know, your buddy's network, Yahoo, they all have a unique address. I'm actually running out of these addresses. The addresses are expressed as four. Numbers ranging from one to two hundred fifty-five. That's okay. So you've seen those internet addresses: one ninety-eight dot one sixty-eight dot one dot one. That's an internet address. The dots separate each of those numbers. Okay. Uh, and and there's enough digits in there for us to have you know lots of stuff. But that's why we're running out pretty. And that's fortunately your home with all its devices only has one number. Okay. That's the number your internet service provider gives you. And then everything that comes in there is coming through a router, right? The router's saying, oh, you know, because it has one. It, that's what a router does. It shares the internet. So you have one number. But when little Jimmy goes to a website, the router knows that little Jimmy's computer started that conversation. And so when the rest of that site comes in, he says, the router goes, oh, that goes to Jimmy's computer. Oh, oh, that, oh that one, that goes to Pedro's computer. So there's, or that, oh, that's to mom's phone, that kind of thing. That's what a router does. So everything has a unique number. But of course, numbers are hard to remember. So they created a really smart thing. They created a, basically a phone book where everything has a name, yahoo.com, google.com, but the name translates to a number, and the number is translated by the domain name system. It's just a big phone book. Just okay. a big phone book. So open, So your, uh, your internet service provider has one of those phone books. They have their own DNS, domain name system, server. And uh, when you go to a website, yahoo.com, your browser first it says to the computer do you know where that is what's the number and if your computer's been there recently it'll be in its cache so the browser will get that number from the computer if the router knows it'll it'll say oh yeah yeah little jimmy was there pedro wants to go there oh that's just where it is but if neither of them know it goes on up to your internet service provider if your internet service provider doesn't know it goes up to his internet service provider and finally all the way up to the 13 main domain name servers there's they're spread all over the world and those are the the official servers they have the official co uh, phone book and it propagates down and the reason for that is so they don't have to be bugged all the time oh, oh okay. right the router knows that so you don't have to go to use your internet service provider that information where the where the dns server is is stored in several places and this might be what's going on uh, your router is the best place to put it. The router should say, uh, you know, can the router, by the way, gets that information from your internet service provider. So it goes out to Roadrunner or Comcast or whoever and says, what's your DNS address? And you'll see that in your router settings. They'll have an address from your internet service okay. provider. That's the one you replace if you follow the instructions at OpenDNS. You went to your router settings and you put in their server instead. And I'll tell you why that's, that's a good thing to do. It changes the phone book. Unfortunately, if little Jimmy has instructions about what router to use on his phone or his computer, it will override what's on your router. So you have to make sure all the computers inside the router, inside your network, are using automatic configuration, that they don't have their own personal settings. And furthermore, if little Jimmy is over the age of 13, he'll have figured out how to change those settings. So you may need to lock them down with a password so that you know those settings can't be changed. And, and okay. say, this is automatic. Go to, ask the router. Ask your, ask your dad. Do you want to go to the internet? Ask your router. And the router then knows, oh, don't use the phone book offered by the ISP. Use this special phone book from OpenDNS because that's the one that says, oh, yeah, here's the instructions that Pedro gave us about what Jimmy can see. Let's make sure that he doesn't go to those sites. That's how they okay. do it. They change the phone book. It's a special phone book. Okay, okay. so... So is this a process that I have to change over... Because I have an Apple router. That's fine. You should set it in your router. Because everything in your house is going to use that router. But you also okay. then have to make sure go to the phones and the tablets and the computers in your family, especially your kids. This is, by the way, a way you can get around it is you don't have to use it. You can use whatever you want in your computer. But your kids, you want to make sure that they're locked down to use automatic configuration. They don't have 
any information about the DNS server, they get it from the router. Okay. And that way, they're, little Jimmy's using the safe phone book, not daddy's phone book. Not okay. daddy's little black book, because that one's got all... <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for the call. It's a great service. They have a free service. A lot of schools and businesses use it, and there's a paid service to opendns.com. And, you know, they do have instructions there, uh, so you can follow them. It's a very clever idea. Uh, it's probably a better way than running blocking software on, on little Jimmy's computer because little Jimmy doesn't take long before little Jimmy notices it. He can't do everything he wants to do on the Internet, and then he figures out how to get around that. There's sites even created by other teenagers saying, okay, here's how you get around that. But if you lock down the Internet settings on his computer, you give it, make it password protected, he can't, you know, he doesn't have administrative rights. He can't change it. Then he has to use the one on the router. And, of course, the router has to be locked down too, right? Until little Jimmy's friend Johnny comes in with his own phone and says, here, I'll hook you up, dude.